The Nicaraguan dictatorship sentences Bishop Rolando Alvarez to 26 years in prison. The dictatorship of Daniel Ortega in Nicaragua sentenced this Friday, February 10, the Bishop of Matagalpa, Monsignor Rolando Alvarez Lagos, to 26 years and four months in prison, accused of traitor to the homeland. The conviction against Bishop Rolando Alvarez comes only one day after the dictatorship deported 222 political prisoners to the United States. Bishop Alvarez refused to board the plane carrying the deportees, as explained yesterday afternoon by the dictator Ortega himself. In the sentence read this afternoon by Judge Hector Ernesto Ochoa Andino, President of Criminal Chamber 1 of the Court of Appeals of Managua, it says, declare the accused Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos a traitor to the homeland. Declare Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos guilty for being the author of the crimes of attempt against national integrity, propagation of false news through information technologies, obstruction of functions, aggravated disobedience or contempt for authority, all committed in real competition and to the detriment of society in the state of the Republic of Nicaragua, continues the sentence. Detailing each of the charges and their respective penalties, the text adds, the accused Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos is sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment and perpetual disqualification for the exercise of public functions on behalf or in the service of the state of Nicaragua. The loss of the convicted person's citizenship rights is declared, which shall be perpetual, all for being the perpetrator of the crime of undermining national integrity, the sentence continues. The sentence also establishes the loss of the Nicaraguan nationality of the sanctioned Jose Alvarez Lagos, in strict compliance with Law 1145. The aforementioned Law 1145, as well as a constitutional reform that allows the loss of the nationality of those convicted of treason, was approved by the Nicaraguan National Assembly yesterday, February 9. On the other hand, today's sentence indicates, to sentence the defendant Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos to five years of imprisonment and 800 days fine for being the author of the propagation of false news through information and communication technologies. The penalty in fine days is equivalent to the amount of 56,461 cordobus and 15 cents, about $1,550. Finally, the sentence condemns the defendant Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos to the penalty of five years and four months of imprisonment for being the author of aggravated obstruction of functions to the detriment of the state and the Republic of Nicaragua and also to one year of imprisonment for being the author of the crime of contempt of authority. The prison sentences will be served successively, so that the condemned Rolando Jose Alvarez Lagos must serve 26 years of imprisonment and four months of effective imprisonment specifies the text of the sentence. According to the sentence, Monsignor Rolando Alvarez must remain in prison until April 13, 2049. Monsignor Rolando Alvarez refused on Thursday afternoon to take a flight with 222 other deportees, among them four priests, and decided to stay to accompany the Catholics who suffer the repression of the dictatorship in Nicaragua. In a statement issued this Friday, February 10, Following the deportation of the 222 Nicaraguan political prisoners, Chris Smith, head of the Subcommittee on Global Health, Global Human Rights and International Organizations of the U.S. House of Representatives, said that we must continue to work to combat Ortega's brutal regime and free the remaining prisoners. Smith precisely highlighted the example of courageous Bishop Rolando Alvarez, who refuses to abandon his flock. He is truly a Christ-like figure with a servant's heart and we continue to ask Pope Francis to speak unequivocally for him in calling for his release," he said. Let us remain in prayer for Monsignor Rolando Alvarez and all the other priests who have been unjustly imprisoned by this dictator, that the Lord will bend hearts and set his servants free. This seems impossible, but for God nothing is impossible, let us not lose hope. Praise be to Jesus Christ.